today, we will see examples on addition and subtraction of fractions. Amar has brought six and a half kgs of potatoes from the market. If his mother makes potato curry with one and one fourth kg of potato, then what is the weight of the potatoes remaining? The total weight of potatoes brought from the market is equal to six and a half kgs. The weight of the potatoes used to make the curry is one and one fourth kg. The weight of the potatoes remaining can be found by subtracting one and one fourth from six and a half. Here, six and a half and one and one fourth are mixed fractions. In order to perform subtraction, we will convert them into improper fractions. The improper fraction of six and a half is thirteen by two, and the improper fraction of one and one fourth is five by four. The weight of potatoes remaining can be found by obtaining the difference between thirteen by two and five by four. Here. The denominators are not equal. That means the size of the parts are not equal. In order to do subtraction, we need to make them equal. Can you tell me how to make the denominators equal? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. We use LCM to find the value of this. The LCM of two and four is four, so both denominators will be four. To do so. We will multiply the numerator thirteen and the denominator two of thirteen by two by two, and since the denominator of five by four is already four, it remains as it is. After multiplication, we get the fraction of thirteen by two as twenty-six by four. Now we can subtract the numerator five from the numerator twenty-six, and we keep the denominator as it is, giving a value of twenty-one by four. The mixed fraction of this improper fraction is five and one fourth. Thus, we can say that the weight of potatoes remaining is five and a quarter kg. Next example: Gaurav studied science for seven by five hours and studied mathematics for eleven by twelve hours. What is the total time spent studying in a day? Gaurav studied science for seven by five hours and studied mathematics for eleven by twelve hours. To find the total time spent by him on studying, we have to add seven by five and eleven by twelve. Since the denominators are not equal, we make them equal with the help of LCM. The LCM of five and twelve is sixty. Now we find the equivalent fractions of both fractions whose denominator will be sixty. In order to do this, we will multiply the numerator seven and the denominator five of seven by five by twelve. Similarly. We will multiply the numerator eleven and denominator twelve of eleven by twelve by five. Now we get the equivalent fraction of seven by five as eighty-four by sixty, and eleven by twelve as fifty-five by sixty. Since the denominators are equal, we add the numerator eighty-four with the numerator fifty-five and keep the denominator as it is. Therefore, the resultant fraction is one hundred and thirty-nine by sixty. That means. Gaurav has studied for two and nineteen by sixty hours. Today, we have seen the examples on addition and subtraction of fractions. In the next video, we will clear some misconceptions related to this. Today.